hi friends welcome back in this video so in this video i'm going to show you that how we can assign a user collection and administrative security role so first we need to log on to our domain controller we'll create some user then we'll create a active uh, security group uh, then we add the, uh, the user in that security group so first move back to our uh, domain server so once you log on to your SCCM oh, sorry domain server you need to open a server manager then click on tools active directory user and computers here I'm going to create a new user uh, under my organization unit users so you can create a user where you want so I'm going to create a user called IT manager okay this one and this if you want you can put dot underscore escape as as per your requirement so enter the password then finish so now we have created this user and if you we'll click on member of this user don't have any membership so now back to security group so we are going to create a new security group uh, scope is a global and scope type security so SCCM admin So I created a group called a SCCM admin then IT manager okay so click ok so now we have this group just right click on the group and choose properties members add ID select the user ok ok and ok so now we are done with our uh, domain controller now we need to switch back to our SCCM server So now I log on to my SCCM server. Click on Start, Configuration Manager and Console. From Workspace area, we need to click on Asset and Compliance, User Collection. Just right click on User Collection and create a User Collection. So name it SCCM. IT manager okay so now we are creating a collection so click browse select all user and groups okay click next add rule direct rule next you resources classes should be a user group resources and attribute name is a con uh, active directory container name enter the value percentage so next from here we need to select that user but I'm not sure that will reflect here we need to wait so I'm going to pause the video and uh, maybe after four or five minutes that uh, resource will reflect here okay so guys in my live environment it took around 8 to 10 minutes 
so it's totally depend upon the object size in your organization so you need to wait if it's not reflecting you just need to create a director rule again so now I need to select this user uh, security group uh, stp scm admin underscore it manager then click next next and close again click on next and next again and close so now you can see we have a user collection SCCM admin IT manager so now we need to click on administration from a workspace area click on security right click on security administrative users and then add user or group click on browse select the security group name which we created as ccm underscore I need to provide my credential then click ok Uh, from assigned security role click on add button so here are the 15 roles so in this lab we are going to perform a full administrator but uh, maybe in your scenario you can choose a different uh, security role as per your requirement so select the role and click ok uh, from assigned security scope and collections make sure the only instance of object that are assigned that specific scope or collection so from here we need to click on add collection here we need to select that collection so I'm talking about the user collection which we created as CCM admin underscore IT manager okay so click ok then ok so here we go so if we click on administrative users you can see that uh, we have a administrative security group now it's a called collection but it's a SCCM admin IT manager so as we just added IT manager in the security group so now it's time to test that user having a full administrator access or not okay so right now we need to switch out uh, sign out from this user and need to log on with IT manager okay other user it.ma and the password loading the profile so now we log on as a IT admin or IT manager profile so now you can see the user is IT manager so now we need to click on start system center security Microsoft center security and then configuration manager console should load up with all the administrative privilege so here we go so you can see that uh, this user having full admin access for uh, system center configuration manager so guys in this way we can use a administrative user collection and add remove user for that specific security group in a, uh, AD and that will automatically reflect in SCCM so thanks for watching this video have a nice day bye, -bye.